Hello, guys. Good evening. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Kylie is in a good mood. Thank you as well. Good. Let's just wait, except for everyone. Okay, so Kylie, Harlisha, Inky, Celine, Magdalene, she and Yinzin, the rest of them, I don't know where they are. Yinzin, how are you? I'm good. What did you do today? Um, today I'm going to school and I'll do the same thing today. Okay, tell me, sweetie, what is the same thing? Because I'm not with you, so I don't know. Um, do the homework and read some book. Okay, what kind of book? Science and the maths. I'm sorry, Sudi, I cannot hear you very well. Maths and science. Maths and science. But how do you read a book of maths, for example? I've never read a book of maths. How do, do you read this kind of book? Do Pardon? Do, do the maths exercise. Aha, uh -huh. so you're doing the task, but that's not reading a book, sweetie. That's just doing the homework or the task, that's not reading. Okay, good. Uh, Magdalene, how about you? How was your day? What did you do? I had a good day. Why well, was so good? Um, I went to my school's library and stayed there and read books for nearly two hours today. Celine, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How was your day? What did you do today? To, today is boring because I just eat my lunch and go to school and, and nothing. Okay, good. Kylie, how about you? Um, I went to school and today I had choir lessons. And for the last two periods, I had um, PJ and we played badminton and my teacher wanted to pick me to the, like the badminton team because she was, she said I was playing quite well, but I kind of have to reject that because I have a lot of tuition going on. So I can't really participate in that. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right, sweetie, thank you. Do you, how about you? How are you? Do you, can you hear me, sweetie? I don't hear you. I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. Your microphone is not working. Can you please fix that? No, sweetie, I cannot hear you. I'm sorry. Jonathan, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. What about you? I'm okay. Better than last week. Last week was horrible for me. I couldn't speak. I was, I was coughing. But this week, I'm okay. Uh, what did you do today? Uh, not much. I just did my daily routine, went to school, uh, and just did my homework. Okay. All right, guys. So, do you know what? I wanted to start right away. Let me just see where did I put it. Uh, first of all, I want to ask you, uh, how many of you have done the homework? You were supposed to do Unit 7 and Unit 8 revision. So, how many of you have homework? Please raise your hand. Is it only Kylie? Oh, GAU, Enki. And that's it. 
The rest of you, you don't have homework. Nice. So I wonder, guys, when you go to school without homework, what happens? Kylie, what happens when you go to school without homework? Well, we get scolded. Okay. And do you think you should be scolded as well or no? No, because I've done my homework. No, no, for you, sweetie. <laughs> In general, for students that are not doing the homework. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I'm not going to say that now. I'm not going to do that now because, first of all, uh, today I want us to finish with Unit 8. And uh, obviously, at the end of the class, those of you who didn't do the homework, you're going to have to do it, okay? Even though it's not, uh, well, it won't be a homework, it will be a schoolwork. But we have to do it because if we want to continue to Unit 9, we want to make sure that Unit 7 and 8 have been done. But because today we need to do a little bit of writing. And that is the article, right? Because we haven't finished the article. So today is the day we're going to do it. Now, can I please ask you to open your books on page 77? Page 77. So your task in, in a moment will be this one. You're going to write an article. It will be a Padlet link that it's already done over here at the bottom. However, first, I want us to read this article from Zahra and see uh, what actually, what kind of information he actually included over here. So let's ask, Enki, can you please read it for us? Give me a minute. I need to get my. Sarah, what page is it? Oh, sweetie, you don't have even the book open. Seventy-seven. Okay, I found it. Um, if I had to choose. One person, it would be my cousin Hassan. He was born in Istanbul, but he grew up in London. His medium height with curly dark hair and hair and brown eyes. Everyone gets on well with him because he's easygoing, honest, and reliable. Apart from being such a nice person, Hassan is hardworking and generous too. He's always been keen on drawing. When he was just 19 years old, he set up his own online company, which sells, t sells his t-shirt design. He gives some of the money he earns to help international children's charities. Okay, so I must give you a feedback on the reading. I'm not really happy with the reading now because you've had better moments and you kind of interrupted the sentence all the time. So if I'm not looking at the text, I will be super confused. I would have no idea why you're reading when the sentence is over. Do you know, guys, what is the best trick to see if you actually understand if someone is reading something or not? You're not looking at the text, right? So you're not looking at the text. You're just looking somewhere, doesn't matter where, and you listen to what this person is saying. What, the, what are they reading? If you understand what they're saying, that means you're very good at your reading skills and comprehension. However, at the moment, I, I was doing this with, uh, with Enki. Uh, I must say, sweetie, that the reading wasn't really on point, so you really have to work with that. The way you read it interrupted every single word. I wasn't sure when your sentence was finishing, and when a new sentence was starting. So we're gonna give it a go one more time. Um, Kylie, can you read it for us, please? Let's see your reading. So I'm not gonna look at the screen, I'm just gonna look at something else. And I wanna see if I will understand something from her reading. You can also do this, guys, as well. So don't look at the screen, uh, don't look at the book, and just see if you can understand whatever she's saying and if that actually makes sense. So um, Kylie, let's read. If I had to choose one person, it would be my cousin, Hazan. It, he was born in Istanbul, but he grew up in London. 
He's medium height with curly dark hair and brown eyes. Everybody gets on well with him because he's easygoing, honest, and re reliable. Apart from being such a nice person, Hazan is hardworking and generous too. He's always been keen on drawing. When he was just 19 years old, he set up his own online company which sells his t-shirt designs. He gives some of the money he earns to help an international children's charity. Okay, this is better. This was better. So this is a very good tip, guys, for you to see uh, how much and how can you actually focus on the listening, right? So at the moment, we're practicing the listening skills as well, even though Kali was reading. However, for me, it was focusing on listening skills. Now, again, if I don't have the text, I would have no idea what they were saying. No idea, even though the, the pronunciation was clear, but this is not a pronunciation issue, okay? This is an issue with the interpunctions. So that means full stop, commas, uh, how you're reading the text. For example, if you read like this, if I had to choose one person, it would be my cousin Hassan. He was born in Istanbul. No one is going to understand you. I, I can assure you that. However, if you read the text as it is written over there, follow the rules your understanding or the person who is going to listening to you they will understand everything if i had to choose one person it will be my cousin hassan he was born in istanbul but he grew up in london even though my reading is a little bit slower like i'm reading a storybook that's fine however that means that i really don't need to look at the text so pay attention to details like this if you read everything in one go, just because you want to just read it and get rid of it, that's a very bad approach. That means that the person you're going to speak with or read something out loud for them, most likely they won't understand you. This is also important for your speaking as well. Because if you don't control your sentences, your pronunciation, the way you put the comma, the way you make a pause, most likely, the person who is speaking with you, maybe they will understand you. I'm not saying not. However, um, if I, how do I say this? My main concern, obviously, is for you to improve your skills, all of your skills, but also to pass this level with the highest mark as you can. Now, if you don't control your voice, control pronunciation, control punctuation as well, most likely your points will go down. Again, PET is not a very low level, it's somewhere in the middle, but we are aiming to go to the next level, which is a little bit more challenging. Therefore, means that reading should be perfect. I don't even want to think about reading, okay? Reading should be the easiest, the latest problem that we're going to have, okay? So one more time, when we're reading a text, make sure you follow the rules. What are the rules? If I had to choose one person, there is coma, which means short pause. It would be my cousin, Hassan. Full stop, the voice goes down. He was born in Istanbul, but now I'm having contrast. But he grew up in London. Full stop, voice goes down. Has medium height with curly dark hair and brown eyes. Full stop, voice goes down. Ignore the text. The text has a lot of mistakes, which you have to find them now. However, as I said, for level uh, PT or B1, reading shouldn't be a problem. Not at all. Well, technically, we're trying to improve everything. However, reading should be polished by now. Now, maybe at the end of the class, I'm just going to open one English book that I have on my computer, and maybe we can practice a little bit of reading as well. Because what I'm thinking is maybe you just come here for two hours and you don't practice enough reading out loud. It's super important. I know a lot of teachers, they don't force their students to read out loud because they think it's unnecessary. For me, I've been working for 18 years with different levels of students. I can say that reading out loud helps a lot. And especially you're still in the educational system. So you're going to learn in the future, right? It's not like you are an adult and you just need to go at work and you don't have to read anything. So for you, you still need to polish your educational, all the skills. So next task for you would be to find the mistakes in this uh, article because there are a lot of mistakes. For example, 
I. I should always be capital, no exceptions. Okay? So I want you to go through the text and see how many mistakes can you find. Maybe it's a punctuation, maybe it's a spelling. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to give you like a couple of minutes. And we're going to check it out. And don't text me, guys. From today, I don't want you to text me. If there is something you want to say, you need to speak. Because when I see the way you're texting me, you're, you're using abbreviations, you're not using the correct grammar, I'm kind of, I'm scared, honestly. So as of today, if you want to say something, raise your hand, I will call your name, and you tell me what the problem is. So no texting, please. Unless it's something very private. In that case, yes, you can text me if you don't feel comfortable saying this. All right? So Jason, you want to say something, but you need to open your microphone, please. I, I think I, just, I was just wondering about something. What is that that you were wondering about? Because it's easy going a word or continue a space in the middle. Well, that's what you need to tell me. That's why I gave you this job, this task. Because you need to tell me. <laughs> As I said, the article has some mistakes, but you need to find them. You need to know where is the mistake. Because if I tell you, then what is the purpose of the task in the book? Okay, some of you are ready. Let's take a look. Enki, would you like to start first? Okay. Um. Uh, he's he's medium height with curly dark hair and brown eyes. The he has a a a, a apostrophe. Okay. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm just my. Oh, okay. Now it's working. All right, so you say the first thing that is a mistake is he's, okay. And the other thing is curly black, curly dark hair and uh, it should be and. And, okay. We keep going. Yep, good. Um, okay. Everyone gets on well with him, not with. Okay, yeah. Because it's spelled wrong. Okay. What's next? Mm, mm, has. Hazan is a hardworking and generous. It should be two with double O's, not one O. Two, okay. He's okay. He set up his own online company. Which not wish. Uh huh. Okay. Good. And that's all but I there is one more. You missed it. Oh, oh no! Actually. No, I think it's fine. Okay. Anybody else? Something else? Easy going. Easy going. What's wrong with easy going? It's not stick together. It has to be separated. I think. You think? Or are you sure? Uh, I think. You not think. sure. Okay. Anybody else? Teacher. Teacher, do you have to put the about? Do you have to put the punctuation? You have to put what? 
the dot uh, on the last uh, like a children's charity and do we have to put the full stop uh, yes full stop mm. i'm sorry i don't i cannot understand you where oh the, the, at the end yes you're missing okay. a full stop yeah uh teacher oh. after the easy going is that supposed to be a comma yes it's supposed to be a comma yeah Anything else? Remember, I is always capital. This is not good. Okay. All right. So tell me, guys, what is an article actually? Something in the newspaper. Okay, there is one way, but that's not the real definition of it. Um, something that uh, gives information. Okay, what kind of information? Maybe um, personal or social. Jonathan, what is an article? Uh, it's like a place where they will give you information about someone about someone what do you mean about someone have you ever had a chance to write an article uh no <clears throat> no okay Okay, I'm going to show you something. So what is an article? So for your level, you just need to write about 100 words about an article, right? Let's say if the question is, articles wanted, books. Have you read an interesting book recently? What makes it so special? Did you like it? Write uh, us an article answering these questions and we will publish it on our website. Usually when we refer to article, we are referring to Maybe our personal opinion about something, about certain things. Um, I just want to show you a file before I actually give you the task. And obviously, I would uh, expect each one of you to use these, full, uh, these useful phrases. If you've checked out the file that I sent it to you a long time ago, you were having some examples, but I don't know how, um, if you've actually opened it. However, let's take a look what kind of information we actually need to include when we're writing an article. So first and foremost, an article is a piece of writing usually intended for publication in a newspaper, magazine, or journal. Okay, so somebody is going to read it. It's written for a wide audience. So it is essential to attract and retain the reader's attention. This is important because if your article is a little bit boring and plain, no one is going to read it, right? They're going to say, oh, no, again, Natasha, I don't want to read her article because it's boring. So it has to be interesting. Now, what can you include? Well, you can include some stories, reported speech, and descriptions. Do you remember reported speech? We had it last week. Do you remember it now? We will practice that. We'll check it out. So the article can be formal or informal, but that depends who is going to read. If you are sending it, let's say, to the official newspaper of the city or of the country, most likely you need to go with formal. But if you're sending it maybe to a teen magazine, it shouldn't be formal, it should be very informal. So it depends who is going to read it. However, each of the articles must be interesting. It must be included like a lot of interesting information. So we can, uh, we can enjoy while reading it, okay? Now, what kind of information can you include? Well, you should give opinions and thoughts. However, if you feel that you have enough facts for the certain issue, definitely you can use facts as well. Now, what can an article do? It can describe an experience, event, person, or a place. Okay, that is important for us because this is something we're going to focus on more. 
You can also present an opinion or balanced argument. As I said at the beginning, usually in articles, you're expressing your own personal opinion. If you have, for example, the question here is about books. Well, this is your opinion about this particular book, okay? This is not someone else's opinion, which means it's a personal statement. That's why it's called article. It's not an essay, and they're very similar. They're very, very similar. Okay, so you can offer some suggestions. You can say, for example, well, if you don't like reading novels, Maybe you can try and read some, I don't know, maybe some, um, what kind of books do I have here? Okay, maybe like a storybook. You can read a storybook, right? However, I would strongly advise you to at least choose one book and read it in the next year. So you are allowed to give a suggestion and also to give an advice, because that is, again, your personal opinion. Okay, so let's see what kind of information you should include. When we talk about article, essay, everything that it's in written form, it's very important to be very interesting and to have some eye-catching title, especially the article. So remember, when you're writing an article, you need to give a title, okay? Super important. Now, usually what I, would, what I would do, doesn't mean that I'm right, but what I would do is I will write the article and then I'm going to write the title. However, with the title, you can play with it, okay? Uh, make it interesting, make it fun, but you can do it at the end. Now, introduction part, you need to clearly define the topic, okay? So what are you going to talk about? Within the main body, you can have from two to five paragraphs. Two to five paragraphs, okay? But not one, not one. In which the topic is developed in detail, okay? Uh, then in the conclusion, you need to summarize the topic or a final opinion. So ideally, you need to have the first part introduction, the second part and the third part maybe should be your main part where you're covering points. And when I mean points, try to cover two points. For example, I like this book because of this and it makes it very interesting and fun and da 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 And the second point, maybe you can say, for example, that uh, this is maybe a book from a complex book that you would like to read and you find them very interesting and engaging. It's up to you, obviously, what you're going to, uh, to put. Now, certain words or vocabulary that you can use will be the following one. You can use rhetorical phrases, which oftentimes students ask me, can I make a question? Yes, you can. It should be rhetorical. Okay? And I'm not sure if you've studied rhetor uh, rhetorical questions or rhetorical phrases in school. I'm not going to bother you with that, but you can use some of these phrases over here. Then you need to have the introducing point and you can start with first, first of all, and so on. Depends, depends on your, on your article. Then once you need to add some extra points, you can use secondly, another consideration and so on. Then conclusion. In conclusion, to conclude, to sum up, so finally. And then obviously you can introduce your opinion. I think in my opinion, personally, and so on. So I'm going to give you this. This will be your guidance. Okay, so this will be your guidance. You need to use some phrases from here. That's the first thing. The second thing is, this is your Padlet. Okay, and let me show you the task. The task is this one. The person who I admire, who is it? Is it a member of your family, a friend, or perhaps someone famous? What does he or she look like? What is he or she like? Why do you admire him or her? And you need to write the article. You need to answer all of the questions, but don't answer questions. Make it paragraph. Make sure you're having an introduction. Make sure you're having uh, a main part. Make sure you're having a conclusion, all right? Now it's uh, 2.05 for me, which is 9.05 for you. 
I'm going to let you do it until the break, which means about 25 minutes. 25 minutes to 30 minutes is roughly the amount of time you're going to have for a writing task, okay? So I'm going to let you do it. What you can do is you can open two tabs like I have over here, but you can open them on each half of the screen. One half you can put, uh, let me show you what I mean by that. And where did I put it? Okay, put it like here. Mm, all right. So you can put it like this. Okay. So you can take a look at the the um, phrases you can use. And you have the book in front of you, right? Take a look at the questions you need to answer. Write down the article. As I said, you're going to have 25 minutes roughly. After that, I'm going to give you a break and see how many of you have finished the task. Do you have any questions? Okay, good luck then. Okay, guys, so make sure you're finishing. So I can give you a short break. Okay, so I'm going to give you two, three minutes. I want to see as many as articles posted as possible so I can give you a short break. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give you a short break, five to seven minutes. Once we are back, we're just going to go through them and just see what kind of articles we have. We're also going to check the homework as well. And we're going to have some speaking. See you in a couple of minutes. Okay, let's get back. Everyone's camera on, please. Okay, let's see. We got Nathan, Kylie, Aiden, Adriana, Enki, GAU, Magdalene, Early Sure. And that's it. Where's the rest of you? Are still writing. Okay, those of you who are ready and you haven't done the homework, I would advise you to open your books on page 78 and 79 and start doing the exercises. This is for those of you who don't have homework. So homework had only Kylie, Enki, and one more. Who is the third student? I'm sorry, I forgot. GAU, okay. The rest of you, you need to open your books on page 78 and 79 and do the tasks that you were supposed to do for homework. You're going to do them now. And for the other students that are, well, basically that's Kylie, Enki, and GAU, I'm going to give them an exercise with reported speech. One second. I want you to practice reported speech until everyone finishes everything so we can check out the homework. So one second. You remember? We spoke about reported speech before, right? Conditionals. Sorry, not reported speech. What am I talking about? Conditionals. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to give you an exercise with conditionals so we can check them out. I'm just double checking over here what else was grammar point. We got phrasal verbs and conditionals. Okay. 
All right, let me see. All right, so I'm going to give this one to Enki, Kylie, and actually, have you done it? Enki has done it. Good. Okay. Okay, Enki, here is the link. Kylie, let me find you. Kylie, here's the link for you. And GAU, here's the link for you. So again, those of you who completed the article, please open your book, page 78 and 79, and complete the homework so we can check it. Aiden, my dear Aiden, what is this? What have you wrote over here? This is not the task, Aiden. Your task was this. The person who I admire. Your task wasn't talking about social networking. Why did you delete it? Did you copy this from somewhere? Aiden? Can you answer my question, please? Hello? Totally ignoring me. Uh, teacher. Yes, Aiden. What what happened with your writing? That wasn't the writing. That wasn't the topic. Aiden, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. So, what was that writing? That wasn't the topic. Where right wrong? Okay, and where did you find that topic from? I call my friends to help me write because I don't know how to write and they just give me this. So you didn't even write it, you, you copied it from someone? My friend copied to me and sent it to me. Not okay, I don't want to know about your friend, I want to know about you. Why didn't you write the task that I asked you to do? But you were copying from someone else. That's not good. Okay, Celine and Yin Zin have very similar, very similar. One person is writing about the mom, other one is writing about the dad. So something I don't like here. So someone copied from someone else. Don't know who copied from who. But yours, yours article are very similar. I would say 70 to 80 percent similar. Okay, so those that I've read over here, you can see you have some stars. None of you, uh, actually, apart from GAU, she has five stars because she doesn't have any mistakes. So she did quite well. I like the structure. Everything is separated. Kylie did also very interesting. However, I find it a little bit plain because the vocabulary is very simple. Magdalene has a great vocabulary, super great vocabulary. Um, 
Where do we go? However, I'm a little bit concerned about the grammar tenses. So you start with past tense, then you have some sentences with present tense, and that's what confuses me as well. This is Herdisher. Herdisher has one of the longest, and she goes into details a lot, which to a certain point, I think it's okay. However, um, using more words than you should, most likely will end up with making more mistakes. And that means that it's not going to be good for your, for your uh, final score. So pay attention to that. But I do like it because you have like a lot of interesting moments over here. Um, Enki, yours is okay. However, too plain. You don't have any interesting vocabulary. Nathan as well. Yin Zin and Selena already explained. Jonathan, yours is also very plain, like very, very plain. The vocabulary, you don't have mistakes. However, you don't have anything challenging. You don't have any interesting vocabulary. You don't have any phrasal verbs. And this is something you need to work on a little bit more. And I just need to read Jason's. Okay, Jason, yours is also fine. But I think you can do much better because you're having a better uh, vocabulary. So, yeah. So those of you who are doing the homework now, can you please give me a thumbs up when you're ready so we can check out the answers? Apart from Kylie, Jiyu, and Enki. Adrina is ready, okay. Please give me thumbs up when you're ready with the uh, homework. It's funny to say it's homework because it's not really a homework now, is it? GAU, well done. Enki, there are some mistakes. No, Enki, Kylie, sorry. Yeah, I'm doing it again right now. Okay, okay, that's good. Teacher? Yes, Willie? Do I need to do it again? Let me see. <laughs> okay. No, it's fine. It's okay. Okay. How many of you have done the homework? Okay, Herlisher, Adrina, Nathan. Okay, three more minutes and then we're reading the answers because this was a homework. It was not supposed to be done now.
All right, let's take a look at the answers, please. So starting, okay, let me just see. I have so many windows open over here that I can't even manage to, to see what I actually have. All right, let's get started. We got the first exercise. The first one, I'll start with Enki. I'll start with you. I like to wear those shoes, but they aren't big enough for me. I'm size 44. Okay, one second. So big enough. Now I want you to take a different color pen, pen or pencil. Don't erase and write down the correct answer. Just cross it and write down the uh, the new answer in case if that's not the right one. Enki said big enough. Okay, Enki, keep reading the whole exercise, please. Okay. It was nearly midnight and it was too dark to see anything. Okay, next one, Enki. You can't you can't skate on the lake. The ice isn't thick enough to be safe. Thick enough. Good. I must go to bed. I'm too sleepy to wake up any longer. I mean to stay up any longer. Good. Too sleepy. My sister's only 16. She's so she's not old enough to drive a car yet. Old enough, very well. Put on a jumper, uh, put a jumper on. It's too cold to go outside in just a t-shirt and jeans. Very well. Next one. I really like that laptop, but it was too expensive for me to buy. Too expensive. Okay. All right. Next exercise, we got Kylie. Can you please read? But you, we're going to do a exercise three first, please. We left the terminal and got onto the plane after a six hour delay. Okay. F. F. Yeah. The, the, driver, the driver and passenger got into a car and drove to the airport. Okay. A. In big cities, many people go by bus instead of taking the car. Okay, that should be B, yeah. You should let other people get off the train before you get on. So that should be C. Okay. The police told the thief to get out of the car and put his hands up okay cool all right make sure you're having these answers you have like a couple of seconds so we can go with the next one Okay, let's clean it. Going for exercise two, and then we're gonna go with five. Actually, 
Okay, Adrina, do you want to go next? Exercise three. Three or two? Sorry, two. Okay. Two. Uh, number one is how's Andrea these days? She, she is going to have a baby. Number two, have you got any plans for tonight? Yes, I'm meeting Ryan at nine o'clock. Number three, you look tired. Yes, I think I'm going to bed early. When's the last? I'm going time? or I, I'll go. Sorry. Um. Maybe I I'll go. I'll go. Yeah. Okay. When's the last bus? The timetable says it leaves at midnight. Leaves. Yes. My computer has just crashed. Don't worry, I I'll repair it. I'll repair it, okay. This course now, England 0, Brazil 5. Brazil are going to win. Brazil are going to win. Okay, cool. All right, thank you for that. Um, Arlusha, do you have number one from the crossword? Um, yes, below temperature of zero degree celsius freezing freezing yep four the opposite of hot cold cold the next one a place where two roads meet crossroad crossroads yep a bag you carry when you travel somewhere backpack backpack a world which a word which means the same as very much. This one I I don't know. Anyone knows? Extremely. Extremely or something that is very much or extremely. And number nine? A bright light you 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 see in a thunderstorm. This one I also don't know. Lightning. Lightning. Okay, and let's go down. Something you read before or when you travel to a new place on holiday. Guidebook. Guidebook. Okay. Visiting interesting places. Uh, this one Side is scene. sightseeing. Yep, sightseeing. A type of weather when you can't see things very well. Foggy. Foggy. Nice. Okay. All right, guys, please write them down so we can go to the next page. Okay, clearing this up, going for the next page. All right, starting with the first one. Now I'm not going to be able to look at the text and do the answers. So I'm just going to circle the answers over here because I already have them. I've done them with the other group. So I need just the answers. Uh, Jonathan, start with, we got A is one. Sorry, one is A. Tell me about the second one. Uh, and as the winner of You don't have to read it. Just give me the answer. No, D. Pardon? D. Uh, F is not the correct answer. The correct answer is in. How about three? Uh, 
was a grew up. Yeah, keep going. It, four. Uh, four is C brought up. C? Yep. C. Five. Uh, five is A on. Five is not A, five is D. Six. Uh, six is B at six. Yep. Okay. Next uh, one. Seven. Seven is a uh, leaf A. A. Yep. Okay. Uh, it is a uh, when A. No. If. If. Okay. Nine. Uh, she first met D. D and the last one. Uh, in D. Since. The last one is since. Okay, let's go to exercise three. Exercise three, G A U. If I didn't have to work, I'd spend more time with my friends. What do you have next? GAU, are you here? Oh, your microphone is not working, sweetie. I'm so sorry. Magdalene. Exercise three, please. If I stay up late, um, I would wake up late the next day. If I stay up late, okay. You can say, for example, um, I will be tired. Tomorrow. Doesn't matter what you're going to say, but you need to use will in the second part of the sentence. Okay, what do you have for three? Magdalene, sweetie, can you please read in for us? Sorry, did you? Number three. I, I need you to read all of the sentences. Um... So, number three. If I found a wallet on the floor, I would bring it to the principal's room. Okay, I, I would bring it, take it, doesn't matter. Okay, the next one. I wouldn't go out if it rains tomorrow. Which, uh, which condition are you having? Um, Which conditional is this? I think it's the, the okay. First. Keep going, keep going, please. Okay. When I start English. When I stop learning English, I may be... No, you need will. I... Sorry, when I stop learning English, I will be a profession. Okay, I will be a teacher. I will start learning something. I don't know. I will be happy, maybe. It doesn't matter. Okay, next one. I'd be annoyed if you keep disgusting me i'd be annoyed you're having second conditional so you need to have the second part of the sentence in past tense i 
I'd be annoyed if you. Sweetie, this is. I would be annoyed. So you're having second conditional. Now the first part of the sentence must be in past tense. I would. I'd be annoyed if you kept disgusting me. No, that's not a good sentence. For example, I'd be annoyed if I maybe lost my phone. So past simple. If you kept, that's not ideal now. Okay, how about number seven? Unless the water, the weather is awful, I would go to. Okay, it doesn't matter. And the last one? If I could live in another country, I would, oh, sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my mistake. Number seven, unless the weather is awful, I will go, not would. How about the eighth one, the, the, the final one? If I could live in another country, I would have, uh, I would have going to, no, sweetie, I would have going, no. I would have went. I would have what? If I, sorry, if I could live in another country, I would have went to enjoy no. this. So, which grammar tense is that? No, sweetie, no. Okay, I can see uh, even last, last week when we did the, the conditionals, you had a little bit of issues. That's fine. I'm going to give you homework now with conditionals. We, we want to make sure we're learning them. So if I could live in another country, I would maybe live in the USA, for example. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's go number four, exercise four. Nathan, do you have it? Yeah. Go on, please. Just She's... read me the answers, please, because we don't have much time. Number two is wit. Wit, yeah. Number three is, uh, number four is up. Okay. Number five up. is four. Okay. Number six is two. Four and two, very well. Four, and then we have two. Okay, guys, very quickly, make sure you're having these sensors. I need to give you conditionals for homework, definitely. Because, because I can see it's a problem. I'm actually need to give you separate exercises because I cannot put everything in one go. Which one was this? First and second and zero conditional. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the last exercise, cleaning this. Okay, how about number two? Oh, Celine, do you have number two exercise? No. No. Who has number two? Kylie? Angelique, also known as the Queen of African Music, is one of the most greatest female singers in the no, no, world. No, 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 Kitty, we did that. Number two exercise. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I got confused for like two seconds. It's okay, it's okay. I only go shopping if I have to because most of the shops are expensive. Because? Because it's wrong, okay. The second one? I've just received your email. You asked me which film stars I like. Which? Which, yeah. Since then, we have been very good friends. Then? Then, yeah. You asked me if I had fun last weekend. 
I think this is correct. I think. I look at I. Oh, it's not capital letters. Back. <laughs> yes. On Friday, my family and I got on a boat to the island. I think it's the Friday, the F. Friday. Yep. Good. I think you know him. He is called. He is called Patrick. No. No. Okay. Perfect. Good. All right, guys. Fix that. Let me just very quickly give you the link for the homework. I'm not going to keep you long. However, I'm going to give you two links. Oh, actually, I'm going to give you one. Sorry, my bad. One, zero first and second conditional. So I can see you're still struggling with that. Um, homework, PET. PET. Okay. Copying link. Sending it in the chat box. Also going to send it to you in WhatsApp. Okay, let me find you where you are. Oh, here you are. All right. Latest homework. And this is the link for you. All right, guys. So next week, next week, because I know it's the fifth week, but if you remember, we didn't have a class. I don't remember which day was it, but uh, we calculated. So next week, we're also going to have a class. So next week, we will start unit nine. However, in September, we're going to have a mock test again, which means two classes. I'm still not sure. I have to decide which day uh, that will be, but I will give you heads up a week before that. So one week, we will do the writing and the listening. And one week, we will do the reading and uh, the speaking comprehension as well. Okay, so because we're ending up this course, well, we're still not ending it, right? We still have a couple of months, uh, but we want to make sure that we are making some progress. When it comes to the writing part, you actually, I can see certain progress, which is good. Uh, apart from Aiden, that he copied someone else's uh, thing. It wasn't even an article. It was something else. I think it was an essay. I didn't have time to read it because he deleted it. Uh, don't do that, okay? Because you are here to learn and practice. If you just copy from someone else, what's the point? You're not going to learn anyway. Anyway, do you have any questions maybe? Nope. Okay, cool. In case if you have some questions, you can always text me. You already know that. If not, I'm wishing you to have a good evening, good week ahead, and I'm seeing you in seven days. Good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you, Ms. Natasha. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher, not